Welcome to the Health Coach Nation podcast. My name is Haley Rowe, and I'm a sales and marketing coach and LinkedIn lead generation service provider. I work with health, life, and mindset coaches and online service-based business owners to help them get more sales, shift their time to the client generating activities instead of just the busy work, and overcome that social media overwhelm. Let's get into the show. If you're ready to take on your next paying clients, I have good news. My free four basics of client attraction and how to stand out class is live at HaleyRowe.com slash client hyphen attraction. In the class, you're going to learn the top two traits I recommend for most coaches and entrepreneurs if they really want to turn this into a career. You're going to learn how you can build demand for your services and stop getting crickets on your posts. You're going to learn the sales roadmap I used to improve my sales conversion rate and help my clients do the same. And you're going to learn so much more. So go to HaleyRow.com slash client hyphen attraction and get your copy of the class today. Hey everyone, today I'm talking with a special guest about some Instagram do's and don'ts. And the person I'm bringing on is a virtual assistant who works with a lot of her clients on Instagram. And I thought it would be fun to ask what's working, what maybe isn't working in 2023, because Instagram changes all the time, as you know. And if you have any questions you want to put in the comments, feel free to do that. And I will bring on our guest in just a second. So she is going to be coming on. Her name is Haley as well. So there will be two Haley's on this live. Here we go. For those of you who don't know, I have a book clients with Instagram course on the website at hello.com if you want to check it out. And hello, Haley, welcome. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming. So let's have you first introduce yourself to what you do and dig into some questions about Instagram. Okay, great. Um, So my name is Haley as well. I'm a virtual assistant. So basically what I do is I help online business owners, specifically coaches and online service providers, um, show up more authentically and on brand on on different platforms. But my main focus is Instagram. And when you show up more authentically and on brand, it helps my clients um, show up more consistently and confidently, which helps them in the end bring in more sales and align clients. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about what does showing up authentically mean on Instagram to you? Yeah, for sure. So showing up um, authentically really means just being yourself. Um, There's so much like noise in the online space. And I think it's often um, lots of um, people trying to kind of copy what other people are doing because they see it works for somebody else. But the best way you can show up um, authentically is just to be yourself and find your own ways um, that work for you. Nice. Yeah, so I think it means like maybe figuring out what is your brand choice, what do you do differently than others, not how can I match what everybody's doing. Is that what you mean? Yeah, for sure. And then just also um, just keeping in mind throughout the whole process that you're here to solve a problem. You're not here just to sell. So you're here to connect with other humans, build relationships, and then in the end. Yeah. So. Cool. And what about, how would you talk about um, maybe sharing like calls to action in your post on Instagram way or in a way that builds engagement, things like that? Yeah, so there's so many different ways you can um, have different calls to action. Um, You can, one thing that I see that's not really utilized a lot is um, using the different, like quiz things in your stories, um, just to build engagement with your people and your humans. And then um, after they're engaging with your different um, polls and stuff, then once you ask, like, have specific call to actions in your Instagram posts and stuff, then um, people are more likely to do that because they're already engaging with stuff in like your stories, etc. Nice. Yeah. And one thing you can do in your story, like, let's say you had a free or like, and you put in your like, um, do you want to blank people on the poll? Yeah, and you can obviously send them your piece, or you could just use it for market research. What's um, do you struggle with? Yes, you know who in your audience has the talent that you coach on and maybe start thinking about it or um, that thing. So, 
What about in our NHL, what are some do's maybe and don'ts that you're seeing that you want to share? Yeah, for sure. So um, one of the big things I see that people um, tend to do in Instagram is hiding behind graphics which graphics are really great, but the way you're gonna connect with your people is showing your personality. And like, I know it's said over and over again, like getting on video, um, but there's more ways to do that um, than people think. People think, oh, I gotta go live right now. I gotta be in front of the camera right now. But there's so many um, other opportunities. You can record stuff, um, like kind of like generic talking videos. So then you can just easily pop it into your stories or turn it into a reel. So you don't have to consistently, oh, I gotta get live right now. You already have content saved. You have stuff ready to go. So you don't feel the pressure to hop on right now. I'm having trouble hearing you. Oh, sorry. That was my bad. I put myself on mute, I realized. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. What I was asking is, uh, thanks for letting us know, Gemma. And the um, how do you recommend structuring posts and uh, putting yourself out there more? That might be two separate questions. Um, so how I would recommend if do you mean like in terms of like a uh, caption yeah. like how would you yeah okay so how I recommend um, structuring your captions are you want to have like what we call clickbait at the top so you want to have like your very first line something that's going to get people interested and engaged to keep reading it's kind of like thinking back to once you're writing like essays in school it's kind of the same outline as you want to have that um, thing that's going to keep the reader going and keep them wanting to read more. So you want to have that clickbait and then um, kind of like your structured, your examples, and then you want to end with a call to action. Nice. Okay. And what about how do we stand out more than Instagram? Any other tips on that? Yeah, for sure. Um, so the, like I said before, the best way is to um, just be yourself because um, the best way to stand out is to own your quirks, own what makes you different, and um, one thing that I find that really connects with people is sharing your own like values, um, like your personal values and your beliefs. And this tends to be something that like online business owners are really afraid to share because they think, oh, if I share that, I'll scare people away. But that actually, you kind of want to scare people away because showing those beliefs, those values that you're so passionate about will bring in more people and make your online clients more like deeply connected to you nice okay and any tips for uh, finding your ideal on instagram here yeah so um the as i said before it's like showing up authentically um that's what's going to draw in your clients so you can do this in several ways by just starting conversations and dms getting to know your clients um showing up on stories showing your personality your values all those things that are going to connect with your ideal clients. Cool. And then when it comes to, I like what you said about DMs, um, any tips when it comes to DMs, do's and don'ts, things? Yeah, so one of the big things I see missed on DMs is utilizing voice notes because I think voice notes are the new way for um, like marketing and networking because it shows that authenticity at, helps your clients know that you're not, that you're speaking to them. You're not just, you know, sending generic copy that you send to everybody else. Once you send a voice note, it's more personal and the people in your DMs can hear your voice, get to know you. And it feels like such more, such of a personal level than if you just sent um, a text message type. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I um, love voice. And actually a lot of people are used to getting lots of stuff. They're using a voice. Like, oh, wow, you're a person, you're not a bot, or something else. Yeah. Um, yeah, cool. Okay, any changes on Instagram you've noticed? 
or things that are better than others that has happened? Yeah, so for heading into the new year, I think a lot of it is um, similar changes that have already been happening in 22. It's just going to be pushed a lot harder. And that includes like getting on video, like Instagram's really pushing the video. Um, so once you show up, I think a big thing that's going to be popular are the reels where people are just talking with like, you know, quiet music in the background. That's really going to be a big shift in Instagram. Not so I the like training audios and stuff will always still be there. But I think um, for online coaches and online business owners, like people are looking for value and education. So um, that's going to come a lot from the talking reels. Nice. Nice. Okay. And what about, what are some ideas for reels? Um, for people maybe get stuck on what should I be doing in my reels? Kind of thing. Yeah, for sure. So, um, one of the first things you can do is just go like scroll through your Instagram right now, see what you, what your highest performing posts are and just basically read it out loud. Talk like say that exact post, like you're talking to your best friend. So repurposing content is like the greatest thing. You don't need to put new information out there every time. There's the best way to think about it is there's so many different types of learners. Some learners like to read, some like to listen. So you want to be putting that content out there in many different ways and recording reels and talking by stuff you already put. And you can put it in your reels. You can put it in your stories. Just keep using that different content over and over again in different ways because it's going to take several times putting it out there for uh, your humans to hear it, really. Love it. Nice. Um, any other questions that I might be forgetting from our conversation that I should be asking? Um, I think that's about it. Um, let's see. I have a little bit of notes here. And if anybody watching has questions about Instagram, feel free to put them in the comments. Um, oh, yeah. This is one thing I wanted to mention is um, one of the mistakes I see people doing um, on Instagram is there's so much information out there. Like there's everyone saying this, this is the next best thing. This is how you're going to get clients. And I think as online business owners, in a way that's like stopping us, we need to take everything that everyone's saying by a grain of salt, because I've seen so many times that people are getting all of these ideas and they're afraid that their next move isn't going to be the right one. So they take no action at all. So the best thing, the best thing you can do is just, keep showing up consistently, keep showing up for your humans and take what people are saying as a grain of salt. You can add, absolutely add those ideas in gradually, but just make sure you're not letting it stop you. Yeah. I mean, and the truth is all the different things you're probably hearing can work. It's just, you have to actually pick one and do it long enough until it works. <laughs> exactly. People, Cause they're like, well, I've been doing it for three weeks. And then they're seeing like messages. They're like, well, you know, you should be able to do it by tomorrow and it will happen tomorrow, you know. And yeah, we'll for sure. Remind ourselves that all the marketing things can work if you work it and if you're committed and willing to do it long enough. So um, thank you so much for sharing that, Haley. And where can people connect with you and get in touch? So I'm most active on Instagram. So um, you can head over to my Instagram at Haley the VA. Um, spelled exactly like your name, H-A-I-L-E-Y. There's 700 ways to spell Haley, so <laughs> I'm sure you know. Um, and yeah, if anyone's interested in having a quick little um, branding chat, a branding assessment, I do offer a free 30-minute call, so you can grab a link for that in my bio. Cool. And on the topic of branding, is there any, um, when it comes to Instagram, what's your thoughts on, do you think that people need to have, like, quote-unquote, that very fancy Instagram feature certain brand colors and very form and all that or like what's your stance on yeah so I actually get this question a lot so um again this always goes back to not letting um showing up perfectly stop you because it's all about um getting out there in front of your humans so yes at a certain point colors and everything are important just because it helps your um humans recognize you but if don't let that get you stuck. Um, keep going, keep putting stuff out there. And eventually along the way, you'll start to develop and understand more of your brand and be able to 
grow as you go. But the biggest thing I always tell my clients is don't let it stop you. Love that. Awesome. Well, thank you again. And uh, we'll talk soon. Great. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks so much for listening to this podcast. And if it's really helpful for you, I'd really appreciate if you share it and or leave a written podcast review. This tells the podcast sites that our show is useful and it will be promoted to more people that way. Thanks again.